An update tonight on the BCPOU negotiations. Abaco recognized as a destination for romance. And a local environmentalist outlines the benefits of an environmental court for Grand Bahama. The Bahamas Tonight Northern Edition starts now. In other news, the leader of a major environmental group says the establishment of an environmental court on Grand Bahama could help to reinforce the message of protection of the environment. Well, for some years now, local authorities have been spearheading initiatives to encourage residents to stop littering and to report those who do. Tonight, the leader of Earth Care says an environmental court will encourage Grand Bahamas residents to take pride in their surroundings. Megan Shepard reports. With such a vast amount of open land, Freeport and Grand Bahama at large has been faced with the challenge of indiscriminate dumping. Founder of EarthCare, Gail Woon, says that during her explorations and activities around the island, she often comes across spots where persons are dumping their trash. Usually, we will see areas where people just decided to start dumping things and then other people saw okay well they're dumping here I may as well dump too so I have some photos from a recent trip um, there were mattresses and looked like stuff from a restaurant like trays and tablecloths and uh, even um, pom-poms that cheerleaders would use in colors of certain high schools and so there's really no need for that to be put in the bush when it can go to our landfill. We have a, a state-of-the-art landfill. Things can be recycled. Things can be disposed of in a way that won't hurt the rest of the island. Wu notes that she was instrumental in raising the fines levied against cruise ships that dumped their trash into Bahamian waters. And now with an environmental court sitting in New Providence, she says that she believes that a similar court would be beneficial here on Grand Bahama. It would be much easier for people to, to, who would be facing fines rather than having to fly to Nassau to face whatever charges they might have. Plus, it might encourage persons who do view someone, say, tossing out something out of the car to actually maybe going to the police and seeing that that person's car plate is, is on notice and possibly they could be c called to the courts to face you know, whatever ramifications or punishment that they should be, should happen to them. Woon says that the city of Freeport prides itself on being a clean and beautiful city, and everyone must do their part in keeping it that way. Think of the whole island as the way you think of your own house. You know, you're not going to dump a bunch of Kentucky boxes in your front yard, so why not think of the rest of Freeport and, and treat it with the care that you would treat your own property? Because really, as a community, we all own the commons. And if we together keep it clean, there wouldn't be a need for these sanitation workers to be going picking up the stuff on the side of the road every day, which they have to do every day. Megan Shepard, CNS Network.